25 months, 109 weeks, 765 days. That is how long it's been since I've done a face cam video. And you guys probably have a lot of questions. Yeah. Yeah, I know. It's, uh, that's my thing. Like, why did you take face cam away to begin with? And also, why is your hair that color? That's probably a question you guys have. I originally wasn't planning on making this video. I was just gonna drop a face cam video out of nowhere, but that kind of felt weird. And I knew that you guys would probably have some questions like, hey, <laughs> What's going on, pal? And if you don't have any questions, then hey, we can just hang out for a little while and you can listen to me talk. Or you could just leave. Anyway. Ah, yeah, so I guess let's start with the first thing. Why did I take face cam away? The conga drum. When I first started this channel, face cam wasn't really a problem. You know, I had fun doing face cam, but as I started to make more and more videos, I mean, geez, I've made 400 videos give or take, since I stopped doing face cam. Just to put it into perspective, how much garbage I put on this platform. It is outrageous. Sometimes, you, you know, sometimes you make videos you're not really like that proud of. It kind of caused me some stress a little bit. Um, that's probably why if you're ever looking for a video that you thought I made in the past and you can't find it, it's probably because it's gone now. <laughs> um, and it was just that putting yourself out there every single day, like two times a day, Really, it was like I was never not in front of a camera. I kind of started to get a little bit of anxiety from it I'm not gonna lie. So that's the main reason why I took it away and you know after I did that I felt better about it I felt better about YouTube because before that I was trying to find a way that I could kind of like separate my real life from YouTube You know sometimes it's easy to get all caught up in just Make content make videos all day every day now, before we go any further, I don't want this to be that serious of a video. I mean, it's, I, I don't like making serious videos. I like keeping it lighthearted, you know, keeping it, having fun and doing stuff. What kind of stuff? I don't know. The flip side of that is, okay, well, then why are you all of a sudden bringing face cam back? How could you? How could you? I hate you. Sketch. And, uh, I got bored. I don't know. I can do whatever I want. Committing to no face cam also means that dropping a face cam video randomly two years later is a little strange. There are some videos that I would like to do that involve face cam. Face cam is not gonna be every day now. Okay, whoa, whoa, whoa. Everybody, calm down. It's not, <laughs> we're not going back to the old days, but you know, I wanna do some different stuff. You know, as fun as making Roblox videos is with no face cam on, and I, I would still do that. I'm, I'm still, I'm probably still gonna do that. Sometimes I just kinda wanna, you know, do this. Turn on the camera, make something stupid, maybe not play a game, maybe do something else. You remember when I used to do other things in this channel? You remember when it wasn't just Roblox all the time? You remember Just Dares? That's a throwback, isn't it? This is not me saying that Just Dares is coming back. That was a time and a place, and I, I don't know if we're ever gonna be back there, I'm gonna be honest. The point still stains. I just wanna make different kind of content sometimes, and face cam is almost necessarily required for some things. Like, I don't even know why I reacted to TikTok a couple months ago and I didn't even use a face cam. So I'm just talking over TikTok. It's stupid. It's stupid and we, that, that this is why we're doing this. Because <laughs> we need to fix that. That's dumb. And I'm probably not gonna do that again. You know, if I do react to TikToks, I'll put a face cam because that's ridiculous. I think I might've been too committed at that point to do no face cam vids, to uh, literally react to something and not show my reaction. Genius idea. Idea. You're such a smart guy. Wow, Sketch. This is why I subbed. So, yeah. I don't know. Oh, yeah. Um, why is my hair this color? Uh, so I wanted to dye my hair. I know that's a shocker. That's crazy. Yeah, that's how we got here. This is actually my third time doing it this color. I think I'm just stuck now. I like, I, I did it once and I was like, hey, that wasn't that bad. And then I just did it two more times because I didn't know what to do after that so i think i'm stuck like this for a while but you know maybe i'll do another color uh eventually you remember that video i posted where i said i dyed my hair and then i actually just gave myself chemical burns in my underarm area yeah well i finally did it so not really clickbait anymore um yeah i'm gonna do that more than once what else did we talk about I don't know. How have you guys been? Let me know in the comments. I would like to know. I think we got all the serious stuff out of the way, I think. So let's talk 
gaming. You guys might not know this, but I collected games while I was gone. I collected a lot of games. Check this out. Bioshock. Great game, 95 graded. This is a rare puppy. The game's not that old, but you know, maybe one day, maybe one day I can make a lot of money off this. The original Red Dead Redemption for PS3. This is an absolute gem. If you haven't played Red Dead Redemption, you got you have to play this game one of my favorite games of all time hands down without question sorry roblox you do not stand a chance metal arms glitch in the system if you guys have ever heard this song in my videos that's where this is from and uh the soundtrack is amazing and the campaign is amazing 40 levels games nowadays would never. I was actually thinking about doing a video about just this game. I don't know if I'd even post it on this channel, but this game is amazing. I love this game. And more people should know about it. And nobody even knows about it. Nobody even cares. Nobody even cares about this game. And it makes me sad. Conquer's Bad Fur Day. This is, this is the game that you play when your parents are not around. Rather edgy, yeah. There's an entire level where you just <clears throat> on things in this game. I love that. You might be wondering why they're all in Ziploc bags. Well, it's because, um... They're valuable and they're mine and they have to be protected. Oblivion for PlayStation 3 because it's the only version that they had that was unopened. Elder Scrolls, amazing. Everybody talks about Skyrim, but Oblivion, I became I became a man in this game. The hero of Kavak! Halo 3, Halo Combat Evolved. I have Halo 2, I just don't know where it is. It's somewhere, I know I have it. Halo is amazing. Halo Infinite use some more. This one's gonna throw you for a loop. Splinter Cell, Stealth Action Redefined, and Viva Pinata. This is a good game, all right? If you think Viva Pinata is a bad game, I really don't know what to tell you. How does it feel to be wrong? I have so many other games, but I kind of want to show you guys something else. So I got the Lego Star Wars games. I got, I got a bunch of other games. Armed and Dangerous, Destroy All Humans, The Orange Box, Portal 1 and 2, Fusion Frenzy, Oh, wait. This is just a game that is like a mini game game. Before they had like Minecraft mini games and Roblox mini games, they had Fusion Frenzy. The original Minecraft mini games. Gem. Absolute gem. Okay, I'm done showing you games. Also, I got all these guns. Not real guns, obviously, but they're called Boomco. Now, if you like Nerf, um, you need to throw all your Nerf guns away because Boomco is actually way better. So just overall better. This is the Halo pistol, I think from ODST. Hold on, I got other. You like Halo? Don't even answer unless it's yes. Halo 3 Spiker. All right, I'm gonna have to clean that up after, but you're lucky the clip jammed, kid. All right, you would have been in a world of hurt anyways. That is my gun and video game collection. I have a lot more guns. More than you even know. Oh, wait. This is, okay. This is not a Boomco, but it is a gun. Um, not a real gun, obviously. Real guns are cringe. Fake guns that you can shoot your friends with are awesome. And you know what? The best part about them doesn't kill anyone. I know. And I really wanted to make a video where I played uh, Russian roulette in real life without dying, of course. Um, that might be a little edgy. Maybe a little bit too morbid, but, you know, I thought it'd be fun. You guys want to see me play Russian roulette with uh, this gun? Like this? Do a little... Anyway, I think I have run out of things to talk about. Um, I know the second half of this video, just really me rambling about things that I like, but hey... Beggars can't be choosers. Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. I really do. Uh, I don't just say that. I mean, sometimes I do. Whatever. Thanks for listening. Thanks for hearing me out. More face cam videos in the future to come. I'm gonna do something about this background. Not really the best. I think I'm gonna like hang these up. I'm gonna do like one here, alternate colors. Fancy. It'll be like that, like gray. Dark gray, gray, dark gray, and then I'll, I'll hang them on the wall, and they'll, maybe it'll look good, or maybe it'll look bad. I don't know. Gosh! Anyway, thanks for watching. Again, I already said it. Stupid. I'll see you in the, another video. No, that's not it. I'll see you in the next video. I'll see you three months from now. No, it won't be that long. We have a lot of catching up to do. We have a lot of catching up to do. All right, guys. I'm gonna go now.
Take it easy.